Hello everyone, welcome to Informatica support videos. This is Krish from Informatica customer success team. Today I am going to discuss ISES source control resources. Also I will do a small demo on how to build a process using cloud application integration to deploy code from lower environment to higher environment. You can use a GitHub or Azure DevOps Git source control repository with Informatica cloud service to manage and track changes made from the Informatica cloud services such as folder, of, um, projects, assets and individual code within the folder. Informatica provides different source controls um, actions uh, like uh, check-in, check-out code or pull an object, get a hash, commit hash uh, for the checked in object and also you can use uh, those APIs um, to deploy code from a lower environment to higher environment. Let's move on to a demo. I have logged in Informatica Cloud Application Integration. Um, for demo purpose, I have already built a source control deployment. A, this is a process. And this process has corresponding different services. As you see, the first one is a login, then I am doing a lookup for a folder, and then I'm doing check-in, uh, checking corresponding actions. There is a checkout for additional check in just in case a folder was checked out by some other user. And then if that's successful, then it is waiting for a couple of seconds to make sure the code is properly checked in and I get the commit hash. Once I will get the commit hash, I will pull the code for the next environment using the pull commit hash and then I will check for additionally the status to make sure the code successfully deployed and this is a additional assignment steps I just added to make sure I am displaying such kind of a message to make sure my code has successfully deployed. Let's discuss all individual component. The first service that I am using which is um, I given as the name login. This is a service that Informatica provides um, which has multiple actions. So the one that I am using under um, authentication is login. Um, using that I will logged in. I will be passing a couple of um, inputs um, where my credential is required and corresponding uh, password and I will get the ICS session ID. This session ID is required for all individual services. The first, the next service that I am using is to get a folder details. In order to get a folder details, um, underlying, um, you can see the underlying service connector is source control lookup that I have given a name. And as an action, I make that as a lookup. I'm passing two inputs, which is the IC session ID and a body. In the body, I need to pass for a test purpose. I am passing a specific format, like how the input is will be passed to get a folder details. Um, this binding, you can see that this the URL um, which I am using to get a folder uh, ID and in terms of passing a json body i am using a binding type as a custom and body type is um, the body that i am passing as a parameter um, and if you see the output that i'm using to get the folder id and um, for that particular folder id i will be using in the next uh, app connector uh, to get the check-in id so here um, it's pretty simple uh, the first time I'm defining the action and then I'm passing to imports um, and corresponding um, for that particular URL I'm getting the output and I'm passing the body as an input then the output that I'm getting as a folder ID this is test result just to test but um, in this case I will be using um, this this is because of the authentication. I have not passed the proper authentication. 
failure uh, it looks for uh, most lat latest IC session ID because it has a um, time that it is always been active for probably 30 minutes or so so the next process is check-in so if you see this check-in also has a binding URL this particular um, service connector requires another two input one is the IC session ID as I said earlier everywhere you will have to pass the IC session ID and uh, the next input is the body where I'm passing the folder ID which I'm getting from the lookup for and this service and once I'm passing it to that um, and the pretty much same that I'm passing uh, uh, all those uh, inputs uh, the IC session ID and uh, the body um, I'm getting the check-in ID so this particular check-in ID is required uh, to look for checking the action and this is another API where this is particular um, in the URL you can see where it requires again the IC session ID as well as action ID that action ID I'm getting from the check-in and I'll be getting the output of the commit hash as well as the status so once I will get the commit hash that is more important based on that commit hash which is unique I'll be passed for the next environment um, basically this this demo purpose I mean I build a process on the same you can decouple the same process into two environment to make sure you get the right commit hash for the next environment to deploy code or you can do it manually try right, to build two sub process so the commit hash this is another service where um, you need to pass uh, to input size session ID and commit hash um, this is a specific body that it is uh, required and uh, this this particular URL uh, is just for um, to do get get the commit hash and this is a post call um, and it requires um, pretty much in the same way to pass the body and corresponding output you will get the pool action ID now this pool action ID is required just to check to make sure the status is success so I am doing an additional check um, this is a specific URL for that where I am passing that action ID to make sure my code is completely deployed and successfully and as an output this is an additional enter response that I'm checking but you probably don't need to get the whole response you can um, pass that this is a object type so I'm I'm only getting a pull action status from the property but you can also get the entire response this is another source um, API that you can use to check out a specific folder um, what you need to pass is the, uh, the IC session ID as well as the body where the body is nothing but your folder the one that you get from the first lookup um, to get the folder ID you can pass the same folder ID to check out the object this is the similar to the check-in object and the endpoint is checkout and this is also a post call where you have to pass the IC session ID as well as the body as a JSON So on the source control deployment, this process, I'm using individual app connector to bind all the service connector, and then I am using as a service. So if you see, um, using all those service connector and app connector, I have published individual. Um, as you can see, that I have built all those service connector, and then on top of it, I have built all the app connector, and then. I'm using them with the service now with the lookup folder um, as you see that uh, the service type is connection and within the connection I'm um, looking for this app connected that I build and the action that I have created as lookup and then um, you need to pass to inputs and corresponding output folder ID you will get now here you see the IC session ID and body I'm passing the 
IC session ID which is coming from this particular service and also I'm passing the body like uh, the folder um, which um, the, the folder which you wanted to check in or deploy the code or to check out for um, a code that you want you would like so the next process is check-in um, where I will be passing uh, the input for the folder which is um, you need an output folder ID um, in addition I given a function as a current date to give a summary like when the code is checked in um, and description is go like this is an optional if you like and as you see here I am passing the output folder ID which is coming from my previous um, lookup folder section so once this check-in is done I am going into the action where you need to pass the IC session ID as well as uh, the output of the checking which is coming from the previous service and as you see it keeps two things the commit hash as well as the check-in status um, I am adding I am checking as a um, decision task which gives you okay if this equals to failed which indicates okay the action was not successfully check-in was not done successfully could be somebody has checked out the code or it is already being checked in so based on the decision it is going into the checkout options which i am actually doing for the same folder um, and this is the folder that you wanted to do check-in and then you are actually passing it to the IC session ID to make sure the code is checked out. Once your code is checked out, you are jumping into here to do it again a proper check in and then corresponding action. So, so in the other way flow, it is look for a wait status. So, I'm basically looking, I'm waiting for a couple of seconds to make sure my code is properly checked in. And then I'm using another action, uh, which is the commit hash. To get the two inputs that I'm passing, the session ID as the check-in ID, which comes from this, and then um, I'm basically getting into uh, the output of the hash and the status. Based on the hash, I'm again passing to the next service where the output you are getting as a pool action ID. So that action ID indicates. Um, what's the current status of your pool so git pool for the next environment so basically you get the action, commit hash and that commit hash you will be passing to get the action id uh, the pool action and that pool action you can look for the status again um, here is that the full response of, uh, to make sure that your code is successfully pulled into the next environment and as I mentioned earlier, this is an additional assignment step just to display the code has successfully deployed. It's a free text. It's up to you what you want to do right here. And this pool status also requires the IC session ID as well as the pool action ID which comes from the commit hash. And then you will get the pool status or the entire response which one you, you like prefer to uh, display here. Let me execute this process. Before I execute, let me show you which folder I wanted to do a check-in and apply the code from a specific environment to the next environment. So let me go to get integration. and within there there is a folder called infocode uh, you can see a couple of uh, cdi code is available i'm going to check in um, all those uh, code within this folder and also wanted to deploy from a specific environment to the higher environment so to do that um, you what you need is um, The corresponding um, process that I have built. So the process. Let let me get that process details. I have already published. So get the property details. You can copy here, 
and I'm using postman so this is the process I you know the URL the REST URL and this is the folder which I like to check in and also deploy the code now if I click hit info code so this is the parameter and uh, let's log in to the API to see what's going on here so in my process I can see this process is running and I'm waiting here I see that status came as 200 so looks like it is completed so it is done as you see um, it did its action um, and then it's wait for a couple of seconds and then do a commit hash and it, it is a I'm checking the status twice to make sure it is completely done and I get corresponding commit hash value and, and then it does a pull status so let's look for individual input and output how things are working so this is my individual login I get those details um, this is the association ID I do a lookup folder these inputs are passing this is the input that I am passing through my API as you see here this is my API that I am passing the folder name and then it skip the output which is nothing but a folder ID then I am passing that particular folder ID into check-in code so this is the check-in ID that inputs to inputs I am passing I get this check-in and then action ID uh, it's in, in progress so because it's a progress I am wait for a couple of seconds to get the commit hash I get corresponding output so in input I am passing that association ID as well as the action ID and, and the output that it gives the commit hash as well as the status as success and based on that I am doing a pull for my next environment where I got the pull action ID so these two inputs I am passing I got the pull action ID and then I am passing it to a successful status you can even look this is the entire message response that I configured but out of that um, you know from that response I only passing the pull status which indicates a successful and as a message it says the code has successful deployed let me log in into that uh, folder it is you can see all the code is checked in um, and uh, the folder status is now checked in this brings us to the end of this video we would like to hear from you if you have any feedback please do let us know in the email address that you see in the screen also you can use the twitter account thank you thank you everyone for watching the informatica support video